Minibuses dominate public transport in Kenya's urban centers. The vehicles are not only a mode of transport, but also areas of display for art and culture, tailor-made to appeal to youth commuters. Take a look. They are loud, sleek, and command attention on the streets of Nairobi. On a given day, these vehicles ferry millions of city residents to work and other businesses, making them the dominant mode of transport. Locally known as matatus, the minibuses have evolved from being mere buses to display areas for creativity, art and culture. The matatu culture, as you said, it's the culture. It's something which started a very long time ago. Even I myself, I got it. But I'm, the, I'm one of those guys who tried to make it more, more be seen. Because the, the first times when I started, there were just lines. Matatus were just drawing lines, like two, two different colors of lines. These days, no one can do, put a matatu on the, on the road without, without putting design. Some countries, they have public vehicle but plain color. But in Kenya, it's like America. America, their culture is this street graffiti on walls. And Kenya is street uh, graffiti on motor vehicles. The matatu industry can be described as art on wheels, coming from plainly designed vehicles to enhanced machines in terms of spray painting, body fabrication and high-tech entertainment systems. The demand is now quite high because we've gone a notch higher. We are doing uh, the modern uh, Manyanga bodies. Uh, and uh, these this modern Manyanga bodies are the ones liked by the youth. Materials, we keep getting new materials every other time from outside the country. Uh, some, we get them locally, some from outside. And they keep changing all the time. They are not the same. That's why we have new innovations all the time. It was really hard because we just used to do one, one color like white, gray, and all this we used to be bored because the car comes, just do the white, then it goes. Then there, many people didn't have jobs because at that time, there was not, there was, the job was very, very little. The trend in the industry is driven by young commuters who desire entertainment and color as they steer through the city traffic. We have people who love music, people who love movies, people who love sports. So, like this vehicle here, it's, you see it's called Arafat, or Kanye, Kanye West Arafat, you know, it's the, the fans of those Kanye music, you know. I love that we have another one for footballers, the All Blacks for rugby. We have so everything. Most of our vehicles, all of them, they have internet inside. Mm -hmm. They have Wi-Fi inside. So most of our customers, they love when they overstay on the jams and the vehicle is internet inside, everything. Everything is inside. You, there's no, you can't get bored. You just enter, you start net. You just start Googling for free. The most expensive uh, is one which we've done and put uh, so many of these extras. That is uh, on, on music, that is on uh, graffiti, uh, that's on, uh, we've even had others, uh, uh, us putting uh, a fish aquarium uh, and uh, also providing Wi-Fi, uh, providing uh, an iPad, if somebody uh, wants to go through some uh, the system. The Matatu culture is loud, fast and vibrant. Thousands of these vehicles have sprung up in the country, creating competition among owners. Some have spent up to 7 million Kenya shillings on remodeling these cars just to attract their customers. Mm, normally they'll come and say this is uh, the kind of body that I want. So they'll give me what they want. I'll also assist them in choosing choosing the best that they can have on the road because there's too much competition on the road. Uh, there was a car I did, I think it was in the November. It almost costed, it's a Nissan, it almost costed like 700,000. The, the interior, the music, the rims, the paint job, yeah, the lighting system, because that, that, guy, it, that guy wanted very, very many things. He wanted like many TVs, very expensive paint, very expensive rims. In spite of the high capital intensive investments, owners of these matatus report increase in business turnover. Per month, each vehicle brings around roughly, like this one is around 450,000 to 500 per month. 
even as the growing youth population continues to shape the public transport in the country, one of the economic benefits of this culture has been formation of enterprises which are creating thousands of jobs. I do uh, the Matatu bodies and these Matatu bodies uh, have made me employ uh, uh, youth in the business and uh, they've been able to get jobs and uh, we keep, uh, we keep uh, doing new bodies all the time and therefore we keep employing. Even at the moment I have students, I, I teach students, I go to schools for uh, speeches, for ment mentorship uh, speeches and all that. So even in my garage you can see the workers, they're all young. I think I'm the oldest here because I try and bring guys from the street, they sit here, I teach them work, then they start to work.